So Carly is with Craig, and that's okay with you? No, it's not okay with me. I... Margo, I blew every chance I had with Carly. It's natural. She's moving on. Jack, you could turn all of that around in a heartbeat if you just told her that you wanted to make a life with her. <sighs> and then my brother would just have to find another shoulder to cry on. And I know that sounds cruel. I love Craig, but I do know him very well. Look, the worst thing that could happen is someone happened to him. He lost a child. If Carly can somehow help him through that, I am not going to stand in their way. Okay, Craig. Has Carly, what do you have? You've quit your job, you've donated your woman to a good cause. I got a new obsession. And if I was still with the force, she'd be yelling at me to stop wasting the taxpayer's money. Well, you're scaring me, Jack. I have reason to believe that James Stumbeck is back in Oakdale. No. Yeah. No. You made a deal with the feds, Marco. They dropped all the charges. Why? Why would he come back to Oakdale? Settle an old score? I don't know. I thought I saw him, Margo. When? After Jake and Molly's wedding. It's just for a split second after a flash of lightning. I may have been strung out from the events of the day, but it sure as hell looked like him. Well, then, Jack, you got to follow up on it. <laughs> You're not going to tell me I'm crazy? No. Unfortunately, I trust your instincts. That's why we need you back on the force, <sighs> Jack. We don't, need don't, instincts don't, don't, I'm like I'm not this. ready. It's too soon, honey. Come on. Hopefully that's the bat catcher. Hey, you see Katie? Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. I was just on my way out. Listen, Marco, if you need anything, please. I told you what I need. I need you back on the force. I'll call you. Sorry, but no. What are you gonna do with I this? don't know. It's very hard, Mitz, to be creative with your police record looking at you in the face. I thought that Barbara was some kind of hermit or something. I mean, how'd she find this stuff anyway? I don't see her being friends with the boys at the Atlantic City Vice Squad. She probably hired a private investigator, which means, hello, that somebody else knows about this. What if it's a local? Huh? What if it's a local with a big mouth? Don't worry. I just happen to know a local who could help you track down Barbara's PI or whatever. Who? Jack Snyder. Jack? Uh, Jack? Oh, we... You gotta, your heart skips a couple of beats for this guy. Now he's the perfect guy for the job. Yes, Excuse he's me. perfect. He was a cop. I bet he has friends in low places who know all about this kind of Hello? stuff. Hello? Let's go back for a second. Jack Snyder, Holden's cousin, hates me because I had to lie to Jack last uh, year. Remember that? When I was pretending to be Lily? Hello? Yeah, he's definitely the true blue type, but I really don't think he'd hold this kind of thing against you or blow your cover. Oh, pff, come on. You know who else he's close to? Barbara Ryan. But Jack's a stand-up guy, okay? He won't say anything if I ask him to keep quiet. Since when? Are you holding out on me? What's going on? Ah, I wish. Oh. I just helped him nab that ponytail guy at the wedding. And don't forget, he saw you risk your life to save Lily's kid. And not after he gets a gander at this, who knows? And the more people that know, more people that know. Do you understand? Well, if you've got a better suggestion, I'm all ears. That's what I thought. You want to call him? Or should I? I don't have Jack Snyder's phone number. No problem. He gave you his phone number, huh? Gave it to somebody else, and I just took a little peek. Oh, did you take a little peek there? You know, you're pathetic. So am I, both of us. So let's get this guy on the horn, feel him out, so to speak. I can't change what happened that night, all right? I wish I could. <clears throat> well, I was here that night. I talked to Brian. He was very upset about something, but he couldn't talk about it. Do you know how I've gone over that night wishing I'd stay? Huh? Stop feeling sorry for yourself, Craig. You came here that night for the same reason you married my mother. Money! You wanted Brian to lend you millions from his trust fund. You cared more about that money than you cared about him, and he knew it. He must have felt so alone. How would you know? I thought you were preoccupied with Billy. Brian told me in a letter he wrote me just before he died. A letter? Where is it? I want to see that letter, Jennifer.